Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to execute multiple SQL statements using Snowflake scripting procedure. This is another video from Snowflake Tips and Tricks playlist. Execute multiple SQL statements in a SP. A classic or a good technique is to run a large number of SQL statements is to create them using a concatenate select statement. If you have a large number of SQL statements, then good technique is generally concatenate in a select statement. You have to use the concatenate in your, as part of your select statement. Suppose you need to truncate a data from all tables that start with test. You can list them in the Snowflake's information underscore schema using below query. Please note that this information underscore schema will create the moment when you create a database. Okay, automatically the information underscore schema will create automatically the moment when you create a any database inside your Snowflake account. And also public schema uh, will be creating default. So this is the query. You can list the all the tables start with test and schema name is public. Please note that to execute this information schema you need to set the current database otherwise this will give error if you want to if you want to provide this schema i mean database name database name dot schema name so that in that case you no need to set the database as part of your current session okay if you need to truncate a handful or very less number of tables that way a list is enough say example you have, you want to truncate four tables Okay, you can list the four tables based on the particular pattern and you can prepare the, you can take the table names and then you prepare the truncate statements and truncate all together one time. Suppose, suppose if there are hundreds or very large number of tables, what you can do? So below approach works better as I mentioned that concatenate. Here, this is the query. Okay, select truncate table if exist. Okay, this is string and concatenate with the table schema please note that here i am not truncating the i am not concatenating the database name and table name as sql command alias name is the sql command please note that this name i am going to use as part of sp which i am going to create further where from information underscore schema dot tables tables is the view which is available in the information underscore schema where table schema equal to public and table tape like table in your schema in public schema with the you know name start with the uh, uh, test you may have a views external tables secure views materialized views like that so i i here why this filter condition is a uh, only we are going to consider tables and a table name like test start with the test the above query generates a truncate statement for each table that start with test in the schema called public from current database so please note that here is the current database if you don't want a current database if you want to specify a particular uh, database then you mention the full qualified name you can use the, this technique to generate the bulk sql to perform a wide range of management tasks by using that you can take the output and you can run then uh, all tables will be truncated in case if you want to pass this input to the if you want to perform the same operation using the sp let's see how we are going to do so you can run or execute the multiple sql statement in the snowflake scripting sp so the snowflake scripting stored procedure below will do what it will do accept first one accept a string parameter that is a sql statement designed to generate generate rows of sql statements to execute this statement is nothing but a whichever i shown the previous side uh, previous slide that is the sql statement execute the input sql statement to generate a list of sql statements to run this is the second and third one third step run all the run all statements identified by the sql command column please note that if you want to use any procedure you have to use the alias name as the sql command column one 
at the time. Let me show the procedure. So create or replace procedure, procedure name and input parameter is the query, where care, returns, where care, language as the SQL. Please note that this is the new feature. Okay, language as SQL. Instead of JavaScript, okay, you can write your procedure using the SQL Snow, Snowflake scripting language. It's nothing but a SQL. As dollar dollar declare here. Uh, taking the variable as the uh, result set data type is the so what is the res result set result set is a SQL data type that points to the result set of a query whatever that result sets of query we are going to store that into this variable okay next result equal to execute immediate query what is the execute immediate execute immediate execute a string that contains a SQL statement this is the input string correct this is the input string that input string is nothing but a query. So the moment execute immediate way immediate takes the input parameter as query and execute that query and store the results into this result set variable which you have defined as part of the declaration section. Next, let cursor let cur cursor for result set. So what is the cursor in this snow snowflake scripting? To retrieve the data from result of a query, use the cursor. Say, say example, if you want to retrieve the data from a particular result set, here result set is the, this one. Okay, this is the result set. So all data is there. So now we want to take or retrieve the, those result set into a cursor. So you can use a cursor in a loops to iterate over the rows in a result set. Say example, this result set returns 100 rows. So from the cursor, we will iterate for the rows one by one okay for that we have to use the for loop sorry for loop for rows okay this is the variable for i n like that i n cur cursor this is the cursor variable name do execute immediate row underscore variable row underscore variable is the cursor variable dot sql command inside the result set your query always whatever you are passing your query as an input parameter the alias name should be SQL command in this case. Okay. If you want to use the any other name, then this procedure while executing this procedure, we are going to get the error. Let's see same in action. So let me set the context info for my current session. So I've done. And as part of this demo, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a two tables, one is the test one and test two, and uh, inserting one row from each table so let me create the table test one created table test two table test two success, successfully created now i'm going to insert the one row test one and another row to test two table so let me display the data from test one table one row is there and from test two is there so now I am going to create another another object type view okay so test one view and test two view so let me create okay so test one underscore view from table test one and test two underscore view from table test two so two views created so total four objects are there now if you use this query it will displace the all the public and the table type i use the uh, you know like table so if you remove this filter condition we'll get all four objects now we want to truncate the data from tables only that's why you can use this as part this filter condition as part of your search statement so this is the just simply to displace the table information now if you have very very less tables then you can take the table name and then you can prepare the truncate statement and you can truncate the data from the each table if you have a very uh, large number of tables okay then you can use the truncate table if exist okay so now this is the string okay and then this is the uh, schema name and this is table name and this is the alias name sql command 
please note that this alias name should be SQL command as part of uh, you know procedure which I explained in the PowerPoint presentation. So let me run this one and you will get the syntax okay to truncate the tables. So here what you have to you have to copy and paste and then you have to remove this one and then you have to select these all tables and run. So all tables uh, will truncate one go but I don't want to do manually. I want to do this by using the procedure. So what I am going to do, I am going to create a procedure. So procedure name, language as a SQL, result set as explained in the okay, in PowerPoint presentation. Just here I am going to create, uh, no need to worry, I will provide these, all these scripts in the description. Okay. And uh, yeah, so procedure has been created. Now if I execute this one, you will get the truncate, okay, which I just now so okay so this one now what i am going to do by using this procedure i am going to truncate it so this define one string or you can directly pass this entire string to the procedure so two ways i am going to do that one the first way is the define the session variable so set query one equal to whatever you are going to use that pattern based query this pattern based query will only return tables start with test okay table type should be table only. it will not can take views or any other object types and then uh, if you run this one okay so the, the okay let me remove this one and then if i run this one okay the data should be truncated from two tables okay so completed procedure now select star from let's see yeah zero, okay zero rows so if you have thousand of uh, tables, just you need to pass the this one. If you want to, you know, you can pass directly instead of session variable. You can directly pa uh, pass the your SQL uh, query as part of the string, but make sure that your SQL query alias name as the SQL command. Okay. So now what I am going to do? Let me insert again. Okay. So these two. I am going to run once again that's why I am just inserting the data and I just see data is inserted. Now what I am going to do instead of session variable here I am directly passing this one. Here please note that I use the dollar dollar okay to pass the string. If you use the dollar dollar okay between your string uh, okay beginning and end you no need to do the escape the special characters. Here special, special character is nothing but single quotes. So string to pass the string you can use the double quotes or single quote or dollar dollar. So here uh, I am going to use the dollar dollar. Now let me run this one. Okay. See I have completed. Now if you see the data from the table see truncated. So either way you can pass the variable. Now what I am going to do here. See as I mentioned that you have to always use the alias name as the SQL command. Now here I am going to use the SQL command underscore uh, one. Okay. Just okay. Now let me run with the alias name as the different name which has been defined. Okay. In the procedure is the SQL command only. But here I am using the alias name as SQL command underscore one. So let me run this one. See uncut exception of type expression underscore error on line 8 at position 27 given column name or index does not exist. See inside procedure we are using the SQL command but as part of the input parameter as part of the query string we use the alias name as SQL command underscore 1 that's why we got this error. So please make sure that this is the one free condition you have to remember while passing input string okay now another example we will see instead of truncating the tables we will see uh, we are going to drop the all the tables from the publish schema start with table name start with the test okay so here query is 
uh, here I am going to use this uh, se uh, select drop here string is the changing just we are changing this one and uh, I am using the session variable let's see session variable okay if you want to see the what is the value inside this one you can use the dollar select a dollar your variable name so that you can see this one okay if it is valid or not if you want to make sure that it is valid or not just copy that one and try to execute this one okay now i don't want to execute that one i am going to execute that from the procedure okay so let me after running this one those two tables will drop okay so completed now let me see describe table test one so obviously we get error what is that error so sql compilation error table test one doesn't exist or not authorized okay and table two also sorry table two okay drop describe table table two See, sql compilation error table test two does not exist or not authorized so this type of automation would be helpful if you are going to truncate you know or drop but a large number of objects uh, tables okay here objects in other way mostly tables say example you have a in real time you have a thousand uh, i mean uh, 50 or 100 tables every day before batch run you are going to truncate all the tables okay then you can use this one assume that if you don't have any other etl tool you are going to use the you know snowflake as the tool to load the data from your external stage before loading your requirement is you have to drop the existing data from the all the tables okay in that case instead of writing the every time so you can call the one time this procedure and pass the pattern okay so that's all and also as part of your uh, you know daily uh, daily activities okay if you want to try and get uh, you know before as part of your testing or as part of uh, development you want to clean up the da uh, your database with the particular unwanted tables you want to drop the unwanted tables start with underscore backup okay suppose when you are doing something every day uh, all developers will uh, take the backup of tables underscore backup particular pattern and over the period of time uh, uh, there would be a lot of tables in our database so we want to clean up th those tables so if, if you want to clean up you have to you know drop or uh, truncate the uh, tables one by one it may take more time instead of that if you do automate uh, like this okay uh, you can use the you know concatenate string and uh, run that con concatenate string uh, concatenate SQL statement and uh, you know run instead of that doing manual you can use this procedure yeah that's it from this video if you like this video please subscribe to my my youtube channel click bell icon for more notifications like it and share it to your friends thank you once again